Hey y'all, it's Pops and Anna, livingcooper.com. Look where we're at, back in Rudoso. We are staying at the Storybook Cabins, cabin number 23. We're at the, almost the top of the hill in a preserve. Pretty, uh, eh, fairly secluded, I guess I should say, not pretty. So, we made it, and we're gonna take you guys and show you around our cabin. I'll keep watching, here we go. Up the stairs. Lots of stairs on this one. Cabin 23, and it's about 48 degrees outside. But the sun is out. Nice grill, gas grill. There's even a hammock if you want to hang that thing out. Got another little settee, I guess, porch settee. Here's a view from the front porch. Let's go in. Alright, let's go in. A nice one-room cabin. Oh, the bears are here. The gas fireplace. A nice big flat screen TV. Here we go. Kitchen. Microwave. No air conditioning, so I don't know about staying here during the summer. Oh, there's air conditioning. I don't say that, but then we think we will have a That's a sink, a nice shower, toilet area, a little walk-in shower. But this one will be warmer than our number six favorite one. Construction. Get a nice little jetted tub to relax in. Nice ceilings. Carbon monoxide sensor. Gas fireplace. Pretty cool. It better be warm. Pretty hot. Then put it out. So they have the storybook cabins book, buffer book. So we look over. We normally stay, well I say normally, we stay in cabin six a couple of times. And I don't know if you've seen that video. But they have a diary in there, which is kind of neat, like a visitor's log in that cabin. I don't see one here. There you go, some turkeys. Right off our porch from our cabin. Okay y'all, Valentine's weekend is over for us. It's Saturday morning, it's time to head home. We had a great time in Redoso. We're at Storybook Cabins number 23. This is not a paid review. We're not being compensated in any way by Storybook. All the, all the opinions and comments are our own. It's a beautiful cabin, it's remote. It's up at almost the top of the hill. We don't have any close neighbors. But, a couple of issues for Nana. There's so many stairs. A long way up and down but there's 32 steps there's 32 steps but there is a little trail kind of where the land goes down that you can walk up and down and that a little switchback trail yes that makes it a lot easier to come up and down today we haven't seen any wildlife yesterday morning as we left there were some turkeys but it's beautiful even if we didn't see wildebeests it's always like about the kid. it was quiet it was very quiet they had a ceiling fan they do have a ceiling fan but it, but it was kind of got stuck in here we had to turn the, the heater off and we just used the, the fireplace, which went out. 
Well, it's gas on a thermostat. Fire. It's an electric start gas fireplace. Which, in cabin number six, I did prefer the actual fireplace yeah. fire. We stayed in cabin six. If you haven't seen that video, check that one out. That was one of our first ones, so it's kind of shaky, but it, uh, cabin six was a lot more cozy than this cabin, this cabin and it had a wood burning fireplace where this one has the, the gas fireplace. And it had a heat lamp in the bathroom. This bathroom is very cold. Because this is on the side of the, the hill, the mountain, I mean, the wind comes underneath this and the, and the bathroom is very cold. It's a beautiful bathroom, but it's cold. The shower floor is Parisian, so. But if that was the worst thing, no big deal. Yeah. Other than that, everything else. We loved it. We, we love Storybook. We like Storybook cabins. As, if you watch any of our videos, you know we love Rodeo. So, so as far as the staff goes, we, we love them. Everybody's we've interacted well, well with them. Just remember when you get a place like this, you got to wash your dishes, take out your own trash, stuff like that. Or you can pay an extra with a 25 bucks or something and they'll do it for you either way. We always just take our trash out because we usually don't have a lot. If you're going to stay here for a while, you might accumulate a lot. But, There's a full kitchen, yeah. but we didn't come to cook. We went to different restaurants in town. Just keep that in mind, you gotta do your own dishes and take out your own trash. Hey, we thank you guys for watching, checking out our video. Hopefully this helps you out if you're planning a getaway somewhere. Check out Rodoso. We love this place. Storybook cabins. It's been awesome. We've enjoyed it. And it's not too far from where we live. About seven and a half hours, eight hours. So it's been good. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you can give us a thumbs down too. Either way. Please let us know why. Yeah, leave us a comment, good, bad, otherwise. Maybe some experiences you've had at Storybook Cabins or other cabins in Rodoso or other cabins anywhere for people that are trying to plan a trip. Also, don't forget to check out our social media. It's Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, at Living Cooper, and our blog over at livingcooper.com. Check those out. And last but certainly not least, please subscribe. We appreciate all the subscriptions. So check out our other videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Keep watching.